Hello everyone, it's Marky. How's it going guys? I got a bunch of these new Matchbox moving parts. I'm so excited to open these up and uh, show them to you. Here's one. We're gonna open up this one too. Let's get this one out of here. Here's another one. Let's check them out. Let's see all their moving parts and how they look up close. Here's another one. Let's get another one out of the package. Oh, this is cool. Awesome. All right. Let's start looking at these close up and see what they have to offer. They're so beautiful. Man. Let's go ahead and start with this beautiful car right here. Let me get all these out of the way. Wow, I'm so excited that I'm like making a mess here. Look at this BMW. Wow. Really nice looking BMW. I just found these at Target stores. Matchbox, moving parts series. They're so nice. Look, look at these wheels, check them out. I love how they spin. They look so good. Really nice. Beautiful color on this uh, <coughs> Matchbox, excuse me. It's like a glossy blue and we do have the light interior. We do have side view mirrors on this one, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have the uh, little bit of tint on the windshield with the windshield wipers molded right in the glass. Looking so awesome, beautiful brake lights. We do have a badge in the middle, BMW badge. Matchbox name on the bumper down there. And then we have a nice license plate. Let me see, let me get up closer. What does that say there? 4R5. Or 4R51 MON, Monday, <laughs> I don't know. And it looks like it says, I don't know, can you guys make that out? I can't make out what, uh, I think it says Rhode Island, I'm not sure. Either way, we do have some exhaust on the base here, on the bottom, two pipes on each side. And some more lights on the bottom here of the bumper. And we do have the bar light on the top there. Beautiful, let's see. Let's see how the doors uh, operate. Oh, they move really well. That's awesome. They're painted inside and out. Left side driver, I don't like the steering wheel. I don't like that style where they have like a pedestal attached to it. That looks kind of weird. And we do have bucket seats, a nice console there. You see the emergency brake and the gear shifter all the way into in the front there. And a couple of divided seats back here. The top, of course, is rolled rolled down or rolled back. With the top roll. Oh, wow, what's going on here? Oh, we have like the M4 colors. This is the M4, right? Yeah, 2020 BMW M4. Cabriolet. P13. Copyright 2020. Made in Thailand. And we see some... Uh, Detail for the exhaust heading towards the back here, and it divides up into the four pipes. Really cool. Now I'm wondering why they put the Matchbox name on this car, which looks so clean. And check out the grill in black. We do have something happening down here. A silver spoiler and some lights on the sides, fog lights. And the headlamps on the top there look great. We do have a little bit of a scoop up here. A little lift right there in the middle. And let me back it off a little bit. There we go. Chrome five spokes on this one. Beautiful plastic wheels on this one with the little ridges on uh, treads on the edges there. Here's a top view. Looks pretty amazing. And I like the Matchbox logo, but I don't know about on this car if we really needed that. Just because it's a clean BMW with uh, no stripes or anything like that. Nothing nothing race looking, just a plain, a plain or clean looking car. So I think I would have omitted that uh, Matchbox logo on the, on the back there on the, on the bumper. But everything else looks really good. I think it looks pretty nice. Really cool. What a great car. Here's the package for it. Um, it does say uh, metal parts, Matchbox moving parts as well. And then down here on the inside, there's a little, oh man, I threw everything around. 
Where did it go? There's a little uh, tag with the name of the car that, oh, there it is. 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. It sits like right towards the front of the package like that. So that you can see what the car is right underneath. And then we have like a insert or a tray where the car sits on in there. And we do have a picture of the car on the bottom. Now, I'm not a big fan of these, this packaging because you can't really store them very comfortably. They don't stack up well. Um, I don't know, maybe if you display them on the card, it looks cool, but I don't know. I open my cars, most of them. And uh, the copyright is 2020 on the back. Now, this is the first time I see the, these, so I assume they're new. <laughs> and we got another blue one. Check this one out. Tailgate comes down. And it's not moving very well. What is going on with this one? Oh, it's a little stiff, maybe because it's brand new. It's not really going down all the way. And it does have an opening hood. And let me get a little closer so you can see the engine. Sorry guys, I know I'm moving too much. Let me stay still for a second. There we go. There's the modern looking engine. We have the Ford badge in the front, right on the grill, looking good. Let me get a little closer for you. There you go, you see the headlamps look really good. We have a lot of colors there. So we have the black, the, the white, and uh, silver. We have some amber in the corners. A lot of depth to the lights, looks really good. We do have these big headlamps there. I mean, uh, mirrors, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for that little badge. The 2019 Ford Ranger, that's the name. 2019 Ford Ranger. Here are the graphics on the car. You see, you can carry all kinds of stuff back there and I like to have the Ford badge on there here's the moving part now there's no telling that it's not gonna move the right way it comes like that with the with the back open on the card but I think it's supposed to go all the way down I'm trying not to force it too much don't want to break it I'm not really gonna use that but uh, it's cool to know that it works properly I think it might have something uh, going on there. I don't know. It's not, it's not moving properly. I might have to mess with it. Nice wheels on this one. They're pre uh, blacked out with a little ring around in chrome. Four doors. And uh, we see the handles painted over. Again, these are the side view mirrors. Really giant side view mirrors. They look good. Those, That's what they look like in real life. And we do have the plastic on the bottom the base is plastic the grill is plastic and it looks like it looks like the bed i think it's metal let me see if is it or is it uh looks like the bed is die cast and we have a little something going on there and there so the uh, extra cab in the back four-door vehicle with a gate making it number uh, door number five. We do have a little antenna on the top and some little ridges there. And we do have a little bit of uh, detail there with the wipers molded and die cast this time. No, they're in the metal, not on the plastic glass. And we do have some tint to the, to the glass. You see there's a nice, nice big uh, dashboard in there. Left side driver, steering wheel looks pretty cool. Not one of those pedestals. Again, the side view, top view, three-quarter view, and another three-quarter kind of side view there. It looks really nice. Let's see how it looks next to the BMW. The color is not the same. They're both blue, but look, check out the difference. The BMW is like a darker tone, and it's glossy. The, uh, the Ford Ranger looks Kind of like metallic -y. It looks Metallica. <laughs> Wherever you may roam. <laughs> Little uh, joke about Metallica song. Band Metallica, rock band. <laughs> really cool matchbox. New matchbox. And I haven't seen these before, so new to me. Let me know if they're older. I mean, they have a copyright of 2020, which makes... Makes me think they just never got here on time. 
but you never know nowadays things are we have shortages late deliveries we don't know what's going on right what's going to happen with the uh shipments shortage on drivers for the trailers for deliveries a lot of people have switched jobs all kinds of things happening in the world right now but check them out these two look pretty pretty cool and i love the opening doors on the bmw now so far which one's your favorite so far do you love the bmw do you love the uh the ford ranger oh by the way let's check out the base on the ford ranger so drop a comment let me know which one you like best so far we got two more to look at 29 2019 uh, ford ranger marked on the base and we do have some nice details really clear details down all the way down some exhaust here on one side a little pipe right there and made in thailand p12 very cool very nice and where's the exhaust on this side there it is right there Pretty cool. One more time. That's how the gate opens up. <laughs> nice. Very cool color. I love them. They look really cool. Let's go ahead and open up the next one. Well, pretty much opened everything. But uh, here's the package for the Chevy. It's a really nice Chevy. A C10 pickup from 1963. You know, really nice metallic gold color. Nice hubcaps on there in chrome. Beautiful. Wow, looks really nice. This one does have plastic on the bed there, like a gray plastic or silver, more like a gray color. We do have a bench seat inside. I love the little triangle windows here. And we have the curved glass. The handles on the doors are painted over. We don't have any mirrors on the side. Now let's see, how do they show the mirrors here? Oh, they don't show any mirrors on this uh, drawing or graphics there on the card. We do have the windshield wipers molded right on the metal or in the die cast. And the hood does open. Check it out. Plastic engine in there. All one piece. But still, we get a lot of details in there. No colors. No extra colors. And that seems to be connected to the interior and the base. I mean, the uh, bed back here. All gray. All connected. Looks like they changed the way they're making this one. All gold in the front. The lights, no extra colors, no extra color for the grill. We do have a chrome bumper, just like these old Chevys have, and another chrome bumper back here. I love the Chevrolet name on the gate. That looks really awesome. And a spot for the license plate. The lights are painted over in gold. There's no extra colors. So all the details of color-wise are just here on the side on the uh, trim on the that that comes across from the door all the way to the front. Really nice trim, by the way. Uh, there's the Chevrolet uh, badge with the uh, C10 logo. And this looks to be like a white and surrounded in silver. And goes all the way to the front. And same thing on this side. Beautiful top view. And a beautiful side view. Again, the back looks amazing with the Chevrolet logo on there or name, the Chevrolet name. Looking so good. Very nice. The doors are nicely detailed, all lined all around. Very cool. I love the grill in the front. Just wish they had more colors. And let's see the base. This one's copyrighted 2018 Mattel Matchbox logo right there in the middle. And it's a 63 Chevy C10. I don't know if you can see that kind of hard with this glare we got going on. And uh, let's see, what else can we find on here? There it is, 63 Chevy C10. And are there any exhaust pipes showing anywhere? I don't see any. Maybe these two, I don't know. Maybe those are them. No, I don't think so, but looks like we have some little bumps right there. Maybe that's it. This right there and this right there. Kind of like simulating some exhaust there. Very nice. What a beauty. This is going to look really good next to the two blue ones. Let's see. Let's get a little closer. Blue and gold kind of looks good together. There we go. These two look really good together. What a nice contrast. Well, there we go. There's three of them.
beautiful. So which one do you like so far? The BMW, the C10, the Chevy C10, or the Ford Ranger? It's a 2019. And the next one is this one right here, which is a National Park Series Forest Ranger. This is a series that continues. It's been going on for a long time where they keep issuing every once in a while one of these uh, National Parks vehicles. And there's a lot of variety to the vehicles you can get. Chevrolet uh, badge right on the card. It shows you the moving part is the hood. And again, just like the others, metal parts, Matchbox moving parts. We have a little background there. I think they all have the same background. Yeah, they all have the same couple of trees with a fence. And it looks like you're going over a bridge. So it's really like a like a bridge that you're coming off of. Very nice, very nice. So here he is. By the way, the cards on the back are just kind of plain. They have the, the name, the number in the series, and the copyright 2020. There's the barcode. So here it is, Park Patrol on the back with the US 1254. And there's like a little fire fire symbol there. Like maybe it's a fire emergency vehicle. National Parks Forest Ranger. And then we have the moving uh, the opening hood, which has a handle here. A really cool handle right there. There we go. This one has a little more detail in the engine compartment with some colors. Silver, red, and black. And then we have some green in there. Look at that big thing there. <laughs> Very nice. So you can open it up. It stays in place, kind of like locks in place. Very cool. No extra colors for the lights. We do have a chrome grill and bumper. Close the door and that's what he looks like. What a beauty. Very nice. Love the little triangle windows. The windows are rolled down for the passenger and for the driver. Little door handles painted over in silver. We have the little keyhole right there, also painted in silver. We have chrome running boards, and we have the caution stripe there on the sides, black and white. A nice uh, badge for the park patrol with a bear on it. That looks awesome. Here's the top view. And it looks like the fenders are plastic. That's why there's a variation of color, can you tell? This is one color, the die cast, and then the plastic, a different color. And the fenders in the back are plastic as well. You can see the different color variation there. Not very noticeable. Uh, probably just when you shine the lights on it. And then we have all these windows. These are those old windows that were just open to the side. And we have a big door in the back. Very detailed with all the hinges, the license plate, the light, little handle, but it doesn't open. It's just uh, all designed like that. Very cool with the window you can see in. The glass is pretty clear, just maybe a slight tint to it. And uh, we do have a support beam in there, by the way. Rounded edges all on this beautiful 1950 Chevy Suburban. So it's a 50, 1950 Chevy Suburban. Here's a little elephant friend from Thailand and made in Thailand down here, Matchbox. Stamp P13, no details for the exhaust. We got some details going on here for the, for the transmission and whatever. The tires look to be all the same size and we do have those nice old style hubcaps. Let's close this up. How does it look guys? This one's gonna look good with all those uh, other park ranger vehicles we have and it doesn't have the tow hook it's a shame because we have these that come out for the national park series and we need uh somewhere to hook them on to <laughs> um but there's no tow hook on this one so we do have this which connects to one of the other vehicles i don't have it handy i had this one handy so i just grabbed it right now i just realized i had it right there <laughs> And let's see, this is what we have for the moving parts that I have found so far. And uh, I don't know how many are in the series right now. The numbers that I have for these, in case you need to know, uh, 11 of 20 for the Chevy, for the 1950 Chevy. Uh, this one has 18 of 20, so okay, so there's 20 of them for the year. 
This is the Chevy C10. And then number 14 of 20 on the uh, Ford Ranger. And the BMW is number 16 of 20 for the BMW. So there's 20 moving parts that are gonna be available for this series. Now, I, again, I don't know for sure because of the copyright being 2020, if this is the actual 2022 series, I'm gonna assume that it is because that's when, <laughs> that's when they just came in. They just came in this week. So uh, I don't know, I think it looks like 2022 of February already the second month. So um, I would say these are brand new for 2022, just like an older copyright on them. That has happened before, even in, uh, I think in during normal times where the copyright was a little bit older, maybe two years back, for some reason, I don't know. Why would that happen? But And why would they do it like that? I don't know. But these are really beautiful and that's all we care about. We care about the cars, the die cast, vehicles. They're looking so awesome. So again, which one's your favorite, guys? You like the National Park, the 1950 Suburban, or the 2019 Ford Ranger, or the 1963 C10, or the BMW, which I forgot the year. What's the year for the BMW? The 2020 BMW. So this has got to be a new model for 2021, if it's, if it's marked 2020. A new model. Oh, man. Oh, how sweet. This might be the first issue of this one. I don't even know. <laughs> I got to find out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button down there. That really helps the channel a lot. So if you want to give me some support, smash the like button. And for even more support on my channel, hit that subscribe button, which is the red button down there somewhere. Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out. I have over 700 diecast car videos right now, possibly over 800, I think. But anyhow, I have a lot of car videos if you want to check them out. Just click on my picture there, go to my channel and click on the videos tab. It'll give you a list of all my videos, tons of videos. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.